hell. It's about time. The Samsung Galaxy S10 is a few hours away from being official. Let's take a final look at what to expect before that happens. There's also a new S10 trailer. Be sure to stick to the end of the video so you can watch it. So there will be three variants, the S10e with a flat screen and a side mounted fingerprint sensor, and the S10 and S10 Plus with curved Super AMOLED displays and an in-display fingerprint sensor. The S10 and S10 Plus will rock the new Gorilla Glass 6, while the S10e will have the Gorilla Glass 5. The S10e will have two rear cameras, one wide angle and one ultra wide angle lens, while the S10 and S10 Plus will come with three rear cameras, a wide angle, an ultra wide angle and a telephoto lens. On the front, they would all have a 10 megapixel camera capable of 4K video recording, but the S10 Plus will have an additional 8 megapixel lens for live focus. The battery sizes will be 3100 on the S10e, 3400 on the S10, and 4100 milliamp hours on the S10 Plus. All three S10 models will have 3D face recognition, similar to what we've seen on the new iPhones and the Huawei Mate 20 Pro. This means better security, faster unlocking speed, and way better AR emoji, because the one on the S9 and Note 9 are horrible. All three S10 models will have faster wire charging speed at 22.5 watts, faster wireless charging speed at 15 watts, and the new wireless power share feature at 9 watts. I did a video talking about these features, I'll put a link in the description below, you should check it out if you haven't. On the camera side, we'd get 10 more options for the scene optimizer and a longer super slow-mo at 8 seconds. 4 seconds higher than the Galaxy Note 9, and you can also choose the section to slow down after recording. The speakers will be tuned by AKG with Dolby Atmos sound, and will also get AKG headphones in the box. That's what I'm talking about! The phones will be powered by Samsung's Exynos 9820 and Qualcomm Snapdragon 855, coupled with 6 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of onboard storage, in the base model for all three variants and the highest being the luxurious ceramic with a crazy 12GB of RAM and a whopping 1TB of onboard storage. This model is gonna leave a hole in your bank account. Shut up and take my money! Samsung has also been said to be working on a new night photography feature for the S10 series, rumored to be called Bright Night, to compete against Google's Night Sight. I'm curious to see how well this would perform, considering Samsung phones take some of the best pictures at night. Which of these features is your favorite? Please let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel to get more awesome tech videos like this. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified when I release another video. Also, please share the video with your friends. Thanks for watching guys. Jana.